label vintage style crochet in today's video it's going to be a tutorial on how to make this honeycomb shoulder snug really simple really stylish keeps your shoulders warm keeps your hands and your arms free and you could make one in no time at all quite suitable if you're beginning to crochet too you only need to know a few of the basic crochet stitches and I will take you through it anyway step by step in an easy tutorial so if you fancy making yourself one why don't you grab a five millimeter crochet hook you'll need approximately 250 grams of an iron weight yarn and we'll crochet together <music> So for this tutorial I'm going to be using an Aran weight yarn and I'm using the Stylecraft Special Aran and this colour is in the lime. There is, there is approximately 196 metres or 214 yards and it's 100% premium acrylic so if you wanted to use this yarn that's the details for that. It's going to take around about 300 grams, three balls of this yarn um, but I will put the exact measurements in the PDF pattern so if you wanted to follow along and download the PDF pattern all the details will be in there for how much yarn you will need. You don't have to use this yarn you can use any Aran weight yarn so you could use anything that you've got in your stash and we're also going to need a five millimeter hook you need some scissors obviously some darning needles to sew on your ends at the end and if you're fairly new to crochet I do recommend that you, you use the stitch markers at the beginning or the end of your rows they are quite useful not essential but they are useful if you are new to crochet right so let's begin so we're going to start off with making our slip stitch so you just make that whichever way you know how if you're not familiar how to do that I do have a tutorial so if you want to check that out beforehand and we're going to begin with chaining a total of 174 stitches so yarn over and pull through 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 and that's how you do your chain so we're going to do 174 chains plus two so if you want to work your way all the way along doing 174 chains plus two and I shall see you somewhere near the end so I've got my 174 chains I'm just going to add the two more one and two so we're going to go now we're going to go down into the third chain from our hook so I'll count back from the hook so this does not count as a stitch that's on your hook there so I'll count back three one two three and we're going to insert our hook into that third chain there and we're going to do a half treble so yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three now this video tutorial is in UK terms so if you're watching from the US you need to be aware of that the half treble will become the half double crochet and we're just going to now continue all the way along all the way along the rest of the chain with half trebles so yarn over down into the next chain insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three and again yarn over down into the next chain pull through yarn over and pull through so if you want to pause the video and continue along all the chains working half trebles all the way along like so and I shall see you somewhere near the end of your chain right so I've got three more half trebles to complete there so I'm just going to finish them and into that last one like so and we're now going to slip stitch 
to the top of our first half treble <clears throat> so obviously we need to make sure our work is not twisted so you just need to run your finger all the way along the work you've just done ensuring it's not twisted like so and we're going to insert our hook into that first half treble there so insert your hook after you've ensured that your work is not twisted and slip stitch closed just double check that your work is not twisted right so if you're happy that your work isn't twisted we'll continue on now to row two we will sew up this gap at the end so don't worry about that gap we will sew that up closed so we're going to go on to row two so we're going to chain one and this does not count as a stitch then into the same stitch we're going to work a double crochet so insert your hook down to that same stitch so insert your hook into that very same stitch yarn over and pull through and yarn over pull through and that's your first double crochet now at this point I'm going to insert a stitch marker and if you're new to crochet I would recommend you do this too it just shows you where you're going to insert your hook when you come back round that row so just insert your stitch marker into the top of that double crochet or single crochet if you're watching from the US and now we'll know where we're going to insert our hook so we've done our first double crochet and we're going to double crochet into the following next two stitches so insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through then we're going to chain three so one two three skip three so we're going to skip three stitches so one two three and into that next stitch we're going to double crochet so skip three and then into that fourth one work a double crochet and double crochet into the next two And we're just going to repeat all the way along now so chain three one two and three skip three one two three and double crochet into the next three stitches so i'll do that one more time so we're going to chain three one two and three skip three one two three and work three double crochets into the following three stitches and we're just going to repeat this all the way along to the end so chain three skip three and three double crochets into the following three so if you want to work all the way along doing exactly the same chain three skip three double crochet into the next three and I shall see you somewhere near the end and I'll show you how to finish off right so we've come to the end of this row and you should have three stitches left one two three so we're going to skip those three stitches we're going to chain three skip those three and we're going to insert our hook and slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet where we've got our stitch marker so if you just to remove your stitch marker and you're going to insert your hook into that stitch and that's the beauty of the stitch markers so it just show you exactly where you're going to insert your hook when you complete a round so that is row two complete and we're going to work on to row three so for this row we're going to slip stitch we need to be in a certain position to start the row off so we now need to move our hook across to this middle of the three double crochets here so all we need all we're going to do is slip stitch across so just slip stitch 
So we're now in the right position and we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And we're going to go down into that middle of the three double crochets and we're going to work a double crochet. Insert your stitch marker here, the top of that double crochet that we've just made. So insert the stitch marker there. We're going to skip the next double crochet and we're going to work into this chain space here. And we're going to work five trebles into this space, into this three chain space. So yarn over and pull through. So we'll work five trebles into this space. And one more. Like so. So we've got five trebles into that chain. Then we're going to skip the next double crochet, which is the first one there, and we're going to work into the middle of those three. Insert your hook and work a double crochet. So then we're going to skip the next double crochet. So we're now going to work into that three chain space again and work five trebles. So yarn over and work five trebles. like so and we're now just going to work in the middle of the three double crochets so skip the first one insert your hook into the middle one and work a double crochet and then we're going to skip that one and we're going to go down into that chain and work five trebles so we're going to repeat this all the way along working five trebles into the three chain space And then we skip the next double crochet, insert your hook into the middle one and work a double crochet. So we'll repeat that again. So skip the next double crochet, five trebles into the next. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the next. Skip the next double crochet, five trebles into the next. So it's really simple. So we're going to work this all the way along to the other end. So if you want to continue on working the same stitches. So it's five treble into the three chain space, skip a double crochet, double crochet into the next skip that double crochet, five trebles into the next. If you want to continue on all the way around and I shall see you somewhere near the stitch marker and I'll show you how to finish off this round. And we've got one chain space left so we're just going to do our five trebles and five and we've come to our stitch marker so we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that double crochet there. So just take out your slip stitch marker and slip stitch into the top of that double crochet. So for row four, we're going to now slip stitch across to the second of the five trebles. So we need to get from where we are to that second of the five trebles there. So all we're going to do is insert your hook and just slip stitch across. So one and two. And now that's put me right onto that second treble there. And we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And then we're going to double crochet into that same stitch. So insert your hook and work a double crochet. And then work a double crochet over the next two stitches like so. So we're just working the three double crochets like we did on row two and we're now going to skip the next three. So one, two, three and we're going to insert our hook into that second one again of the five but we're going to chain three. So one, two and three. 
skip those three, one, two, three, insert your hook into the second of those five trebles and work three double crochets along the next three stitches. Skip three, one, two, three, and we're working into the next. So we'll chain three, one, two, three, skip three, insert your hook into the second of those five and work double crochet and three double crochets in total. So what we're doing is, so we're going to chain three, skip three, work three double crochets, chain three, skip three, work three double crochets. So chain three, skip three, work three double crochets, chain three, skip three, three double crochets. So it's the same all the way along now. So chain three, skip three, insert your hook and work three double crochets, one, two and three, chain three, one, two, Three, skip three, one, two, three, and work three double crochets. So we're just going to continue doing that all the way along, and I shall see you somewhere near the end, and I'll show you how to join this row. So I'm just at the end of this row, and we just need to finish off with the chain three. I've just done the three double crochets, so I just need to chain three, one, two, and three and skip three, one, two, three, which brings us nicely to the top of that first double crochet that we did. So we just remove that stitch marker and just insert your hook into that double crochet there and slip stitch. Closed. And those two rows there, rows three and four, are the pattern throughout now. So you're going to be working rows three and four for a total of 14 times, which is obviously 28 rows and approximately 11 and a half inches. So if you want to continue on now and I shall see you somewhere towards the end, ending on row four. Right, so I've just got to the last of those rows. This is uh, row four. So I've just done my chain three skip the stitches and we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet that we did and that's completed that section so I'll just quickly do some measurements for you so let's quickly show you how it measures out so should be about 11 and a half inches yep now it may look short at this point but don't forget we're going to now add a ribbing to the top and a nice bobble edging to the bottom so that will make it even longer right so we're now going to go on to the neck ribbon so from here we're going to we've got 174 stitches and we're going to decrease the number of stitches down to 88 we need to make 88 stitches so we're going to skip one double crochet, skip one, double crochet all the way along but at some point uh, because 174 divided by 2 does not equate to 88 at some point we're just going to not skip one and work two double crochets in a row but just at one point throughout somewhere it doesn't matter where because you won't notice so again so I'm going to skip one because there's three chains here we know there's three stitches here so I'm going to skip one I'm going to double crochet into the next and obviously skip one then double crochet into the next I'm going to do this all the way along skip one double crochet into the next until you come to the other end and you're looking for 88 stitches so if you just skip one double crochet into the next skip one double crochet into the next it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be exact as long as you've got 88 stitches at the end so, we'll, so if you want to do that I shall see you towards the end Alright, so I've got my 88 stitches on here, so I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet we did. I didn't put a stitch marker in, sorry, at the beginning there, but I have put it in. It's just to show you that if you didn't have the stitch marker in and you're new to crochet, it can look a little bit, well, where did I start? 
So by having the stitch marker in, it does highlight where your first stitch was and where to insert your hook. So there we go. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of there and I've got my 88 stitches. And as you can see, the neckline has come in slightly now. So now we're going to work on the ribbon section. So we're going to chain three, one, two and three. And that's going to count as our first treble. And then we're going to pick up all the way around our 88 stitches and work trebles throughout. So just work your way all the way around, picking up your 88 stitches with trebles. Right, so I've just got a few more trebles to go. And we're just back to the last one there. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that three chain. So I'll just slip stitch. Like so. And so that's our first round of our ribbing. So for row two, we're going to chain one, and this doesn't count as a stitch. So we're going to work a front post treble now into this stitch here. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, go behind that treble, the post of that treble, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through like so and then the next one we're going to yarn over and do a back post so we're coming from the back insert your hook over that next treble the post of that treble yarn over and just pull through like so and then just work your treble as normal so the next one will be front post so when we're saying post these are the posts the trebles that's the post so front post is coming from the front back post is we're coming from the back so we're just going to continue on working front post then back post front post then back post and we'll just do a few more and just to show you so we've just done the back post so now we're just going to do the front post so from the front insert your hook behind that post pull your yarn through as normal and then just work your treble next one will be back post so from the back and just pull the yarn through and work your treble as normal then the front it's really as simple so I'll do a few more just to show you and I'll show you what the stitch actually creates and as you can see it pushes the post out or pushes the post back so let's just show you one more. So we've just done the back post. So if we do a front post, so it's by coming up from the front, we are pushing the post forwards as opposed to that one which is back. So that by doing the front post, it pushes the stitch forward. So let's do the back post. So from behind and over and through and then work your treble it's push that stitch like back can you see so you've got them raised or sunk raised or sunk and that's all we're going to do all the way along so we're now going to do front post and then work back post And I'll let you continue on now and I'll show you how to finish this row off and the continuing rows for the rest of the ribbon. Right, so I've just got a few more left to do to finish this round. So I'll just finish these off. I hope you've managed to work your way around okay. Right, so we've come to, there's the first one we did now. So we've got one left. So hopefully that should be a back a back post treble which it is if that's why you need an even number 
So we're now just going to finish off with our back post treble. Like so. And we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that first front post that we did. And that finishes the round. So we're just going to work our way again around the next row. So chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch. And then we're just going to work a front post treble again into that for front post treble directly below there. And we just work front post trebles, back post trebles all the way along. Now you should put the stitch marker in just so it gives you an idea of where you're coming at the end. And we're now going to work into the back post treble. And now you should find that it's easier now. These rows, the following rows, inserting your hook. So you just work exactly the same and it's front post treble through every front post treble. So you can see that's a front post because it's sticking out. So you insert your hook behind that post, work your treble. And then the back post, as you can see, it's back compared to this one. So you know that's going to be a back post treble. So you come from the back and insert your hook over that post. Just like we do, oops, do that again from the back over the post. There's the post there. Bring your yarn up through and then just work your treble as normal. All the way around. You should always end on a back post treble at the last one and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that first one with where our stitch marker is. So you want to continue on working a total of seven rows, seven rows of the ribbing and I shall see you somewhere near the end of that seventh row. So I've just done my last post treble there and I'm just going to finish with my slip stitch to the top of the first one on the round and slip stitch it closed and we've done our seven rows so I'm just going to trim the yarn And just pull it through, tighten that to secure, quickly sew in the end. And just trim that off. And that makes our lovely neck ribbon. So that's the neck ribbon. So now we're just going to move on to the bobble edging. So I'm just going to, if you remember when we started off, we have the gap there. So I'm just going to show you how to close up that gap. Trip that off. And nice neat join. So we're going to work on the bottom edge now and we're going to be doing a graduated popcorn stitch or bobble stitch edging. So, so if you turn your work round so the bottom edge is now up the top and it's facing you. I'm just going to attach our yarn. So just insert your hook into any space, any space around and bring the yarn through and just secure it like so. And we'll work that, I'll just work that in at the end. And we're going to be working on the unused part of the bottom chain because obviously this is the chain that we started at the, bot the beginning. So we're going to be working into this part of the stitch. It's like the unused part there. So we're going to be working into there and we're going to be working our first popcorn. So insert your hook into there. I'm just going to bring it through and we're going to chain three. This is going to act as our first treble 
and then we're going to work four more trebles into that stitch so one two three and four take, take your hook out of that loop there insert it through the top Next door, insert your hook back in and just pull, pull it through and that's created a popcorn stitch. So we're then going to chain two, one and two and we're going to skip two. So skip two, one, two, and we're going to go work down into that next stitch and we're going to work a popcorn stitch again. So it's five trebles into that same stitch. So we've got five trebles there. Take your hook out, insert your hook into the top of that first one, like so, and reinsert your hook back into there and pull through and there's your next popcorn so chain two one two yarn over skip two so one two working into the third one and work a popcorn again so that's five trebles into the same stitch five take your hook out insert your hook into the top of the first one then back in and pull through. So we're just going to do this all the way along, chain two, skip two and then five trebles into the next stitch, make an into your popcorn stitch. So work all the way along, continuing on with that and I shall see you somewhere around about here. Right, so hopefully you've managed to make your popcorns. You should have 30 in total. And I've just finished my last one. I've just done my chain two. And we're just going to slip stitch to the back of that first popcorn. So just insert your hook just into the back, like so, and just slip stitch just to close that first round. So we're now going to go on to our second row of popcorns and we're going to be working into these gaps, the chain, the chain spaces that we've got. So we're going to be working our popcorns into that. And um, we're going to be making our popcorns slightly um, smaller this round. So instead of working five trebles, we're going to be working four trebles in our popcorn. So we're going to be going down into this space here directly below. So we're just going to chain three and then work three trebles into this space here so one two and three so we've got our chain three which acts as one then we've got one two three so we've got four trebles for that one and we just do exactly the same take our hook out insert our hook into the top of that chain three like so, insert your hook back into that loop there and just bring it through and we just made a slightly smaller popcorn. So chain two and then we're going to go down into that next space and work four trebles. One, two, three, and four, take your hook out, back into the loop and pull through and there you've got your next popcorn. And we're just going to repeat this all the way along for this second row and then we're going to do exactly the same again for the third row but we're only going to be using three trebles for that popcorn. So if you want to work your way all the way along this second row and again into the third row using only three trebles for your popcorn and I shall see you somewhere near the end for us to finish off and that will complete our shoulder snug so I shall see you somewhere around about here of row three. 
So I've just completed my last popcorn stitch on that third and final row. As you can see, this slightly graduating in size as we've gone along. So I'm just going to finish off by slip stitching to the back of that first popcorn. Trim the yarn. And just pull it through. And we'll just quickly sew in our end and just trim off. And there we have our completed honeycomb shoulder snug, complete with our popcorn trim edging and our ribbed neckline. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make the honeycomb shoulder snug. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already done so, I would love it if you could follow along with all my crochet tutorials. Um, as I say, it's really simple, really stylish though. It keeps you lovely and warm, keeps your arms and your hands free. And you can make one for your friends. You can make lots of different colours. I won't be stopping at these two. I'll probably make lots more different colours. There is a PDF pattern as well, which follows along with this. If you prefer to download it and have a written uh, instruction in front of you, you'll find that in the link in the box below where you can obtain that and lots of my other patterns that I do have out. If there's anything I can help you with crochet related or you struggled with something in this in this video, please let me know in the box below and I will try and help you, I promise. As I always say, practice does make perfect, so please keep practicing and until the next time, please take care and happy crochet! Mm -hmm.